everyone, my name is Jordan and welcome back to Jordy is Reading. Today, we are going to be doing another unboxing video, but this time, it's Alcrate. Yay! I love the Alcrate boxes. So if you've never seen me unbox anything before, you are clearly new to the channel because that's, at this point, that's all I do. <laughs> No, I have an entire playlist of where I talk about um, how much my Alcrate box costs, what subscription plan I got, what I expect to get out of it, things like that. And let me let you, let me tell you, the Alcrate box does not disappoint. It's it's great for any bookish kind of item, anything like that. And I pay for this completely by myself. Like I don't, I'm not sponsored by anybody to say all these great things about them. They're just amazing, and I love them. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I took everything out. Um, I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek. The first thing I see is the cheat sheet card. It's gorgeous. So pretty, but I'm not going to read the back of it. It's giving me... Um, what are those things called? Geodes or crystal. It's giving me uh, like geode vibes. Very, very pretty. Okay. This is the box. Alright. <laughs> I'm not going to open the first thing I see because it, it is a collection and it goes with my favorite item that I've ever gotten out of an Alcrate box. So I'm going to open that last. That way I can show you the other thing I'm talking about. But first, let's open the pen. The pen comes in every box. It is a collaboration with Hey Atlas Creative. And Hey Atlas does amazing artwork. <gasps> this is inspired by Fable. <laughs> I've read that book. I'm so proud of myself. Most of the pins that I have that you can see like right back here on this are inspired by different books. None of them which I have read, I don't think. Maybe that's not true. Maybe I've read some of them. But I've read Fable, so I understand. <gasps> oh! This is so... Pretty. And if you know me at all, I love the ocean. I love the beach. I love anything to do with it. This pen is so pretty. It's got the gold accents on it that you can see there. So, 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 so pretty. And it fits in with Fable perfectly. Fable is, um... A story that involves pirates and the pirate ship on here perfect I love that pen a lot of course it's gonna go on the board with all my other pens love it okay there is another thing I see in here that's in a similar sort of package all it says is Alcrate on the front so let's see what you all so this is designed in collaborate. Oh, it's an it's a zipper pull, and this is designed in collaboration with the Pickety Witch. It's inspired by the Wolf and the Woodsman, which I'm not sure what that is. It's pretty. I mean, it's got a wolf on there. Hello, can you focus? There you go. It's got a wolf and I guess like some trees in the background. I will n n never ever use this, but it's pretty. Um, I don't know. I'm never going to use that. <laughs> never going to use that. Um, so a lot, I open a lot of subscription boxes. And a lot of this stuff I'm never going to use. I don't care about. Um. I am starting a whole little um, collection of stuff that I plan to give away. So follow me on Instagram because that will be more than likely where I post all of this information. I will link my socials down below. I have Instagram and I also have TikTok. TikTok. TikTok is where I pull all of my monthly reads. Um, my t from my TBR list. They're all printed off and put in the jar and I'll pull one out. I pulled out A Court of Thorns and Roses a while back. 
I finished A Court of Thorns and Roses. I am now working my way through. I am on A Court of Mist and Fury. And then I have A Court of Wings and Ruin back there that I'm working my way through right now. So I haven't posted a TikTok lately, but I'll get back to it, I promise. Promise. Okay, next thing. Let's see what this is. Riddle's Tea Shop. Steeped in folklore. <laughs> this is cute. I'm going to read this to you. She pulled a pouch of tea from the basket. The bag read, an Alcrate exclusive, and it smelled simply delicious. Magic seemed to waft up, waft up from the bag as she carefully opened it. She inhaled deeply, and it smelled like banana bread. How delightful. She couldn't wait to... Dot, 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 dot. So this is a tea. It's called Steeped in Folklore. It's a honey bush tea, apple pieces, decaf tea, cocoa, cinnamon, banana flavor. Hmm. And this is from Riddle Tea Shop. Riddle's Tea Shop. Let's see what it smells like. Let's see if it smells like banana bread. I know you won't be able to smell it, but I'll smell it. <gasps> I haven't even sniffed it yet, and I can already smell it. Oh my gosh. Oh. This smells amazing, and I'm going to go make it as soon as I finish this video. Oh my gosh. It really does smell like banana bread. It really does. And I can smell the apple in there, too. This is going to be delicious. I will give you an update. After. <laughs> After all of this. Okay, I'm not going to show you what this is. We're going to open that last. The next thing, what is this? I don't know what this is from. I am not entirely sure, but it's green and it has a little forest background and it says there was a song in this forest. In, yeah, in this forest. I'm not sure what it's from. It's pretty. I'm not sure what I would use it for. I just don't feel like it would be something that I would use. So this might go in the giveaway box. We'll see. Okay. The next thing. To this day, cranes carry the standards of our fate. An Alcrate exclusive. Oh. Oh. Oh, let me take it out of the plastic. That way the lights aren't reflecting off of it but this is very very pretty I'm not sure if it's a notebook there's a lot of different papers in there but we'll see the front of that is gorgeous oh is this from um six crimson cranes or something like that I haven't read that book either <laughs> but this is so pretty what are you this is instructions on how to make origami crane. Very, very cool. I don't, I don't know that I'm going to be able to make an origami crane. But there are the instructions. And then you have all different kinds or colors of paper. That's very awesome. While I'm sipping my tea, I might try to make an origami crane and I'll show you guys. <laughs> but... That's very, very pretty. I like that a lot. I love the cover of it. Like, I don't care. This is, this is bookshelf worthy. <laughs> okay. The last thing I have is my book. But before I show you the book, I do want to show you my favorite item that I've ever gotten out of an Alcrate box. So this is an item I got in a previous Alcrate box. It has been my favorite item that I've ever gotten out of an Alcrate box, ever. And this is the Lord of the Rings collection, and this is the Shire Bowl. See the Shire in there? This is the Shire Bowl. It is my absolute favorite thing that I have ever gotten out of an Alcrate box. This month, we are getting our next item in our Lord of the Rings set. I think there's four pieces. I think this is piece number three. I missed the first piece, but this is piece number three, I believe. 
it doesn't tell me. But this does say that it's going to be inspired by Rivendell. So, oh, yes. Oh, this is so, 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 so pretty. So pretty. And then it has this way. <laughs> this way? Yeah. It has Rivendell inside. Gorgeous. Oh, I love these bowls so, 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 so much. Is it the same size as this one? It's the same size as the Shire Bowl, but it feels a lot lighter for some reason. I'm not sure why, but it's the same size. It's pretty. I love it. I'm going to display it. They're actually, well, the Shire Bowl is at the top of my bookshelf, which you can't see, but that's where I keep it up there. Um, I love this collection. I cannot wait to see what the next bowl will be. I wish I had the first bowl. Right now, I cannot for the life of me think, I cannot for the life of me remember which one that was. But I believe these are number two and number three. I believe we have one more to go because there's four in the collection. I cannot wait to see what it will be. I love these so, so much. So, so much. Okay. That is all of our little goodies. Let's see what book we have. Okay. So, we get a little letter from the author. And this month's book is The Drowned Woods by Emily Lloyd-Jones. She wrote The Bone Houses, which I have not been able to read yet, but I want to so badly. Oh, yeah. It says on there. Um, author of The Bone Houses. Oh, you can't see. That is very, very pretty. Okay, let's read. Let's read the back first, and then I'll read the inside flap. The girl learned that water could save a life, or take it. It was a lesson she wouldn't forget. The right cause can topple a kingdom. Once upon a time, the kingdom of Wales, the kingdoms of Wales, were rife with magic and conflict. An 18-year-old Merarid? 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 Mer we're going with Merarid. Or Mel, not Mel. <laughs> Merarid or Mare is well acquainted with both. As the last living water diviner, she can manipulate water with magic. And it's a skill many would kill to possess. For years, Mare has been running from the prince who bound her into his service and forced her to kill hundreds with her magic. Now all Mare desires is a safe, quiet life, far from power and politics. But that peace is disrupted when Mare's old handler returns with a proposition. Use her abilities to bring down the very prince who abused them both. With a motley crew of allies, including a fey cursed young man, the Lady of Thieves, and a corgi that may or may not be a spy, <laughs> Mare must decide whether to run for the rest of her life or stand and fight for the true freedom she's long desired. Part heist novel, part dark fairy tale, this immersive and ethereal, ethereal fantasy from acclaimed author Emily Lloyd-Jones will enchant readers until the very last page. Okay, I'm intrigued just by the corgi. I'm here for it. And of course, all of these books are signed by the author. So there is the page with Emily's signature. Can you even see that? Is it even focusing? Hello? There you go. It's written in gold, which is very appropriate because the tree on the front is actually gold. Let's see, do we have an inside? This is the picture that it shows on the inside of the book. You can see she's down there. Um, oh my gosh! Okay, <laughs> you can see she's down there kind of divining the water or whatever. Um, this is gorgeous. The book is gorgeous without the cover on, without the dust jacket. The ocean was immortal and patient is what the front of it says. 
I like that a lot. And the back of it, freaking gorgeous. I'm not going to lie. I would love to have that as a tattoo. I, I would love to have that as a tattoo. That is so, so pretty. Okay. And the inside. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the inside of the dust jacket. The dust jacket is reversible. You can put it on whichever side you want to put it on. But look at this. Look at it. The corgi is right there being carried by someone. Oh. That's cute. And I assume those horses are water horses. That seems to be like the thing in fairy tales where someone can divine water is to make horses from them for some reason. I don't know if that's like a mythology thing and why that's included in so many books like that. I don't know. But very cool. This seems right up my alley. I'm intrigued by the corgi. I will definitely definitely read this. I like this. I like this a lot. This is definitely going on the TBR. I'm gonna read this. I'm excited for it. Now our sneak peek for September. Una's Honest Who? What? Um, Memento Mori is our sneak peek for September. And every September box will include an exclusive hand poured candle from Flick the Wick. Um, it's giving me plant lady jungle vibes. I'm here for it. I like it. Okay, let's see what the um, original like release to everyday public book will look like. We always get an exclusive in the Owlcrate box, but it always shows us what the original is going to look like when it is released to the public. So this is the book that we got, the white one over here. The um, public will get like this dark blue color. Yeah, it's a, it's a dark blue color. They're both very pretty. They're not very different. I, I enjoy the white. I like the white a lot. It's pretty. Oh, that's very cool. So this month they included a Spotify playlist, an instrumental reading playlist for those who lose themselves in fables and folk tales. With a little um, Spotify link. That is very, very cool. Okay, so the first thing it talks about is our um, Lord of the Rings bowl. It was designed by Janine LaCour. There's a four-part series. This is this is the third bowl. So there's one more coming. Um, and it was based around Rivendell. Uh, let's see what else we got. The next it talks about the banana bread flavored steeped in folklore tea blend. Um, it was crafted by Riddle's Tea Shop. And yes, I'm definitely going to try that as soon as I finish filming this video. All of these will be linked down below in case you want to go check some of them out yourself. Um, obviously, I will link Owlcrate down below in case you want to check out Owlcrate. Okay, so next it talks about the Origami Kit, which is inspired by Six Crimson Cranes. It was designed by Kim Ekdahl, and it is gorgeous. I love it so, so much. Okay, the next thing it talks about is the tapestry. The tapestry is inspired by Uprooted. I've never even heard of that book. Um, but it was designed by Eden Cook. The next thing it's going to talk about is our um, zipper pull that had the wolf on it. Bring a bit of bookish flair to any bag or jacket with the wolf and the woodsman inspired enamel zipper pull. Um, designed in collaboration with The Pickety Witch and Joan of Art. I'm never going to use this. Probably ever. So it will go in the giveaway box. And of course, where's my pen? It talks about the pen for the month. We find ourselves sailing through the port of Saros with the crew of the Marigold. In this fable-inspired literary luggage enamel pen from Hey Atlas Creative. I love the pens. Steeped in Welsh... For it's going to talk about the book now. 
Steeped in Welsh folklore, The Dr Drowned Woods is a lush and haunting heist novel that deserves a spot on your TBR list. We think you'll get pulled under by this magic, ethereal story just as we did. Our signed edition features an exclusive cover as well as a reversible dust jacket created by Gabri Gabriella Bujdoso? Bujdoso. I don't know how to say her last name. <laughs> I will link all of these down below that way I don't have to butcher their names. Um, beneath the jacket you'll find two exclusive full designs on the front and the back of the hardcover case designed by Tess Tess Medovich um, at Paperback Bones. Tess designs a lot of these foil covers. Tess designs some of the dust jackets as well. I think Tess does. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Inside you'll find stunning exclusive end pages from artist Niru Sky. There's also an author letter penned for Alcrate subscribers from Emily Lloyd Jones. Yeah! So that is the Alcrate box for the month of August. Did we get less items in this box than we have before? Maybe not. Some, some of them are just smaller. So maybe we didn't. Maybe I'm crazy. But it, I don't know. The box itself is even smaller. Like, normally the box is a lot bigger than that. But it doesn't matter. I love them all. I love all of them. I won't use all of them, so that's why some of them are going to go into the giveaway box. Or, I don't know, I've kind of been toying with the idea of doing mystery boxes. Specific things in like specific boxes. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's all I have for this video. I'm super excited to read this book. Um, I would love to read The Bone Houses as well by Emily Lloyd-Jones. I've heard good things about that book. But yeah. Um, I will link everything down below. My Instagram, TikTok, Alcrate, everything is going to be linked down below. I will link the playlist to where I talk about how much Alcrate costs, what I pay for it, what subscription I got, what I expect out of it, down below as well. Um, yeah, this week, well these past two weeks, have been kind of crazy. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you won't know this, but... I did not post a video last week because last week was my first official week of college at Troy University. So, that has been a change. <laughs> um, if you don't know, I kind of explain all of it in my Hi, I'm New Here video. But I am getting my English degree from Troy. I would love to be like a college level librarian. So, I'm getting my English degree to kind of help out with that. But yeah, that's why there wasn't a video last week. This is why you need to follow me on Instagram, people. Um, that's why there was no video last week. I am starting college. So it's going to be fun trying to balance work, home, college, this channel. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be a change. So bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to keep uploading every single Friday. That way you guys have a video every single Friday. But, like I said, follow me on Instagram. That's where I will post if anything has happened. If I'm not going to be posting a video for some reason. Or whatever. But yeah. That's all I've got for this video. I hope you enjoyed this Alcrate unboxing. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So let me know. Because it really helps me out a lot. Also, subscribe. Share my channel with fellow book lovers in your life if you want to. If not, that's cool too. But yeah, no. Subscribe. Because it really helps me out a lot. Um, and like I said, like this video if you enjoyed it. So I know that you guys like to see what I open in these boxes. But yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!